This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. There is a major breakthrough headed to American consumers. It's the iPhone. Stop like that. It's just so cool. There's no denying it. Apple has been a dominant force in the world of tech. From introducing the Macintosh in 1984 to revolutionizing the smartphone, what started in a family garage turned into a $3 trillion company and quite possibly the biggest company of the 21st century. They changed the world once and they're about to do it again. With the recent rumors of iOS 18 set to release in September 2024, it's gearing up to be Apple's most innovative release yet. Consumer demand in generative artificial intelligence products has been growing, and Apple knows this. CEO Tim Cook said it himself. Apple is investing a tremendous amount of time and effort on artificial intelligence, a field in which Apple hasn't been dedicating much attention to these past few years. In the growing industry of AI, companies like Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI have been dominating the field for years and many have been wondering if Apple can keep up with these tech giants. How will Apple ever catch up in the AI arms race and change the world of AI forever? With Siri. Okay, we all know Siri isn't the smartest. Sure, it can help you perform everyday tasks like sending a text message while you're driving or skipping that song when you're in the shower, but competing with ChatGPT or Google Gemini, that's a little out of Siri's pay grade. It's undeniable. Siri had a massive impact on today's technology. It started as a research project at Stanford University in 2003. The goal of the project was to create a virtual personal assistant that could perform tasks using natural language processing and machine learning. When it was launched on the iPhone 4S in 2011, it was a huge success. It was marketed as ChatGPT before ChatGPT, your personal AI assistant that could help you make calls or book restaurant reservations with the ability to learn about the user's interests and adapt to them over time. Siri paved the way for personal voice assistants, something that we've become so accustomed to in this day and age. And not only this, but Siri's natural language processing and machine learning helped influence today's AI. The introduction of Siri in 2011 was a milestone in the history of technology, and since then, it has driven innovation in the AI and mobile device industry. Competition among companies such as Google, Amazon, and Microsoft developed increasingly advanced virtual assistants that all seem to leave Siri behind. That is, until now. Imagine if Siri could see what you were doing, if it could observe your screen, see what TikTok you're watching, talk to you about the new season of your favorite show that just came out. What if it could truly understand you? Well, with Apple's new AI model, all of this just might be possible. I'm talking about Realm, reference resolution as a language model. Apple's vision with Realm is to have an AI that can directly learn from your iPhone. Every text message, note log, YouTube video is going to help Realm learn about you. It's an AI designed specifically specifically for your needs. And that's what separates Realm from the other AI models like ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude, as they all get their information from the internet and the cloud. Realm gets their information from you. But how does that actually work? The key term here is reference resolution. In simple terms, it's about teaching Siri to connect the dots within your conversations, across your various apps, and even between what it hears and sees on your device. Essentially, Realm can convert conversational on-screen and background processes into text format that can be processed by a large language model, leveraging their semantic understanding capabilities. It uses pre-trained models like VIT to convert visual and information into a format that LLM can process. It also uses vision language connectors, which is the mechanism for merging information from the LLM and the processed image data. For example, asking Siri, find me a recipe for a pizza based on what's in my fridge, but no pepperoni. I hate those. It's going to tell Realm that you don't like pepperoni and it won't include them in your future recipes. Or scrolling through your camera roll and favoriting specifically sunset pictures will tell Realm that you really like sunsets. It can even hear music or conversations occurring in the background. Siri, play that song that was playing at the supermarket earlier. And Siri will play that song. This resolving references from background audio is something current AI assistants aren't capable of doing. The Realm paper also hints at the potential for AI models to understand and process not just what is on your screen, but even real world objects and environments. Technology like this could be at the forefront of AGI. Of course, this level of device awareness brings up a whole host of questions about privacy and how much access we truly want to give our gadgets. Would we 
we really want an AI to know every little detail about our life? Apple's challenge opens up philosophical questions. What is that sweet spot of personalization that we can give AI in order for them to perform well, but without feeling an invasion of privacy? Apple has always positioned themselves as a privacy-focused tech company, and they don't plan on changing that with the release of Realm. Instead of sending everything to some massive data center, the goal of projects like Realm is to have your iPhone get smarter using your own data. Your data isn't going to Apple, it's going to Realm. All your conversations or phone calls would never leave your device. Regardless of privacy concerns, Another issue arises from Realm, similar to how Siri's natural language processing and machine learning technology was used to develop other AI models. It's inevitable that Apple's research is going to help other companies develop newer, more powerful models. This leads to the question of what would happen if this technology got into the wrong hands? Society could quickly turn dystopian. Imagine a world where your devices report your eating habits to your health insurance company or monitor your conversations for targeted political advertising, although these are risks not inevitabilities. It opens the question of how much AI development is too much. Apple just opened the door to infinite possibilities, and it is crucial that we have open conversations about the ethical implication in developing AI this advanced, not just for Apple, but for all of society. The world is changing. The AI revolution is well underway, and it is crucial for us to shape the future of AI in the way that humanity would thrive in, not artificial intelligence.